If you're an author wondering how on earth do I grow an audience and market my book before the book is even written or before the release date, well today I'm going to be sharing four tips that are just going to help you to connect with your readers and market your book before you actually even finish writing the book. My name is Jen Hansen Paula, and I'm the co-founder of Mixus Media and I help authors simplify book marketing and connect with their readers using social media and other online services. So let's get started. So the first step is to understand the phases of marketing. So there are essentially three phases. The first phase is the attraction phase. This begins really the minute that you start writing your book up until about two to three months before the release date. The second phase is the promotional phase. This happens between about th two to three months before your book releases until about two weeks after the release date. And then the third phase is the follow-up phase. This is two weeks after the release date on. Your book has an infinite life, and so understanding that you need to continue marketing is within the follow-up phase. So within the attraction phase, this is where you are connecting and attracting your audience, where you're connecting with them on a human level. You're not necessarily growing an audience as an author trying to promote something because you're still in the process of working on it. When you can connect with readers as a human being who has similar tastes in books, who has uh, similar interests, who has different things that they want to connect with readers on besides their book, you're able to create a genuine connection. We can smell marketing a mile away. So when you can connect with people with things that you share that you have in common, that is a great way to build the foundation of your book marketing. And then within the promotional phase, you have a bit more room to actually push the sale of your book, to let them know that you have a book coming out, to share promotions and to get them to pre-order or to get some other incentive in order to buy your book within the promotional phase. And then the follow-up phase is probably the most important because so many authors focus completely on selling within that promotional phase. And if it doesn't sell really well right off the bat, they think, oh, it's a dud. And then they move on to the next book when that is absolutely not what you should do. The follow-up phase is where you're going to sell the majority of your books. So having a plan to continue to talk about the book, to continue to promote, maybe have some giveaways or other promotional ideas in place that you can continue to talk about the book is essential within the follow-up phase. So understanding the three phases is one of the best things that you can do for your marketing. And I'd like to know, which phase are you in? Let me know in the comments below. So the second tip is to understand the concept of modern marketing. Marketing is all about connection. It's not about collecting a bunch of followers and being in constant promotional mode. It's about connecting with readers as a human being. We can sense marketing a mile away. And when we can kind of take off our marketing hat and our author hat and connect with people as human beings, it is going to take us so much further in our marketing journey than being in constant promotional mode. So the second tip is to focus more on connecting rather than collecting a bunch of followers or collecting a bunch of resources that you can use to push your message. It's all about connecting with your ideal reader and creating content that speaks to them and connects to them. The third tip is to share the essence of your book. When I talk to authors who say, how can I promote my book or talk about my book without giving it all away? And the answer comes within sharing the essence. So if you're a fiction writer, what topics, what themes do you discuss in your book? What are some character traits or what are some character flaws that you have created within these characters? What conversations can you build around these situations? You don't have to come out right and say, in my book, I talk about X, Y, and Z. What you can say is, for example, let's say one of your characters is just hopeless in love and it, he just has bad date after bad date after bad date. Maybe one of your posts can be sharing about a really bad first date that you had or if you were set up on a blind date and you've had you just 
horrible situations with it. And you can invite your audience to say, what bad date stories do you have? Share with them, and share with me in the comments below. You can get a conversation going and it's the essence of what the book is about that you're sharing rather than being promotional and saying, in my book, we talk about blah, blah, blah. And it seems very mechanical. This, when you share the essence of the book, is so much more connecting and it invites a conversation rather than you just merely talking at your audience. And for nonfiction writers, if you can think about the struggles, the worries, the different issues that your book addresses, or thinking about the pain points that your ideal reader has that your book answers, you can address some of those things. So for example, let's say your book is about dealing with anxiety. You can say, here are three tips that you can put into practice to deal with um, anxiety when you're in a group of people or something like that. You can share your expertise and you can prove that you know what you're talking about to become the go-to expert in your field, especially when you come to selling your book. And the fourth tip is what connections can you make offline? Thinking about things within your community that you can go and start interacting with people face to face. So that could mean going to your library and getting some feedback from your local librarian on writers groups or other you know speaking events or signing events that you could do or it could mean going to your local bookstore or talking to local writer groups or reader groups it's thinking about what you have within your community that you can start doing offline to create those one-on-one -on -one connections and to start that word of mouth process locally and then you can spread it out from there so everything that you have to do doesn't have to be online but you have when you are online you have a wider reach and it's a bit easier to share but when you can still have those face-to-face -face conversations and those face-to-face -face interactions you're going to see a big result from that as well so has this kind of freed you from your intimidation of book marketing hopefully it has kind of set you free a little bit but if you are still struggling with this and want some more help be sure to click the link in down below to download my free PDF called the Streamline Book Marketing Guide, where it's going to help you to take those first steps to really streamline your book marketing and to make it a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable. So if you enjoyed this episode, click the like button and subscribe. I'm going to be coming back to you every Friday with more book marketing and social media tips for authors.